Seven minutes Saturday, seven minutes. It's seven minutes Saturday, seven minutes. What time is it? Seven minutes Saturday, seven minutes. It's seven minutes Saturday, seven minutes. Hey y'all, welcome back for another episode of Seven Minutes Saturday with me. Self-doubt overcoming self-doubt. Seven minutes going, so self-doubt. I definitely know um, all about self-doubt and especially with putting yourself out there. And so I, I guess I want to talk about that before like overcoming self-doubt. Because even I think, yeah, self-doubt is you doubting yourself. So doubting your capabilities, doubting that you will be able to acquire certain things, you know, maybe something that you want to accomplish and you begin to doubt yourself, like you may be in the process of doing it, but then doubt starts to creep in and fall up on you and it even starts to cripple you in a sense. So let's say, for example, you are in school and, you know, you're working towards graduation. It could be high school, college, um, your master's, PhD and all of that. And then you begin to doubt yourself. Like, let's say that you you're in a class and, you know, you start to not do as well. Well, doubt just creeps in. You already have a little bit of doubt, but then that doubt creeps in even more and you start to hear things and tell yourself, like, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. No one else has ever done this before. Or, oh, the people that have done it, they were able to do it and they're different and I'm not that I, I'm not that capable. I'm not them. You know, I'll never be able to do those things. That's self-doubt. The things that you tell yourself to keep you from doing said thing. And I think that we all experience it. But I think that the difference between those who do great things and those who do accomplish things, it's not that they don't have self-doubt. It's that they use that self-doubt as motivation. And they also continue to push past it and push through that self-doubt and so it's kind of like with fear what i talked about with using fear as motivation i think that you can also use self-doubt as motivation too you know as a means to inspire you to continue to press and push forward so that you can just be proud of yourself you know and i think that the more you challenge yourself and push through the self-doubt, the easier it becomes. And that's when you begin to overcome it. But I think for myself, as I have grown and matured, I I take a different approach when it comes to self-doubt. Instead of looking at it as, oh, I want to overcome it and just totally let go of self-doubt, I want to embrace it and I know that there will be times that I will become doubtful. I will doubt myself, but I don't want to allow that to stop me. And I think that's one of the things sometimes we try to look at something as negative. So we look at self-doubt as a negative thing. And with negativity and negative things, we want to get rid of it. We never want to see it. We don't want to have it in our lives anymore. But I don't think that it's necessarily just a bad thing. I think that there is room to grow, you can become stronger in and through the self-doubt. And I think that self-doubt manifests or it shows itself in like discouragement. It shows itself in projection. So telling other people what they can and can't do, or if someone, you know, tells you about their dreams and you immediately try to shut them down. And it's because you doubt yourself. And because you doubt yourself, that means that you want to put that doubt onto other people. And I think when it comes to overcoming self-doubt, um, overcoming is not letting it go. I want to clear that up. Overcoming something doesn't mean that you let it go. It means that you're working past it and beyond it. And I think that once you overcome self-doubt, you won't project anymore. Like you won't put your issues, your fear, your doubts onto other people. And so instead of trying to put a person down, you will lift them up. You will say, you know what? You can do it. You got this. I believe in you. I, you're inspiring me. And so by doing that, that's how you're overcoming. Self-doubt, even though it's self-doubt, it's more than just yourself. I think that self-doubt is like a collective type of thing. You know what I mean? And so it's something that we definitely all experience. And I know for myself, especially in this 
year i battled with self-doubt so much oh my gosh it just got to the point to where i was literally sitting in the mirror having to tell myself like you can do this you got this you know and constantly working through my workbook over and over sometimes going over the same things over and over again just trying to push myself and motivate myself and i think that sometimes there comes a time when just trying to push through even isn't enough sometimes like you know what i need to sit in this this feeling of these feelings of self-doubt i need to sit with it and why am i feeling this way why am i doubting myself so much do i not feel worthy do i not feel like i am capable you know so i think sometimes instead of trying to just push it to the wayside feel it be in it you know and i think that then that's when you open the door to overcoming that self-doubt now i even though i'm saying all of this i i'm i i don't have like a flat out answer or like how to no longer doubt yourself and all of that because i don't know if there really is just a full out answer i think well the answer probably would be that you just don't care you reach that point where you don't care but i think as humans like it's human nature to care like that's what we do we care so with caring comes doubt because you begin to think about other people's feelings and their opinions and how this thing is gonna come off and so as you think about all that other stuff doubt comes in and so you start to you know say maybe i shouldn't oh no it's not the right time oh no but you know even though you have those feelings still do so i know a lot of people want to put out youtube videos and now you know we have celebrities who are doing videos and all these people who are doing so many videos and even people you know you may want to be like an influencer and do have content on instagram and all these different places and you are seeing all these people who are doing it and they have the nice equipment and you know they have the following and everything and it makes you end up you know it makes you doubt yourself you you have that self-doubt and so my thing to that is just be inspired by that but then get to a place where you don't even watch what other people are doing and you just create you just push your content out there and i think and and not looking at other people's level of success and all of that because everyone experiences self-doubt so if you are wanting to create especially here on youtube do it it doesn't matter yes there are so many people who are doing it you may even hear people saying oh you what you want to be a youtuber too okay yes you do push your content out there whatever it is that you want to do i don't care it doesn't have to be necessarily um content here but you know a blog anything that you're wanting to do do it don't allow your self-doubt to cripple you and to stop you and don't think that because you doubt yourself that means that you will never be able to accomplish anything there are so many people who are very very successful who still doubt themselves but you know what they also do they do so if you guys enjoyed this seven minute saturday episode please give me a thumbs up let me know what you all think down in the comments is um you know what i mean like let me know what you're dealing with as far as self-doubt and how you're working to get through it or if you're struggling with self-doubt and you haven't really figured out how to work through it or overcome it also let's talk about that down in the comments because either i can help you or someone else can help you don't be afraid ashamed none of that this is a loving environment in a community of positivity as always continue to do things that matter and keep it random i will see you all for next saturday's seven minute saturday episode peace